So the British Boxing Board of Control has ordered the fight between Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce. That's really good to hear because fights between prospects, promoters tend to be reticent about making them. And with guys with profiles like Dubois and Joyce, who are fairly well known in Britain, promoters like to invest in these guys and only really like to risk them if it merits it, if they've maybe got a world title shot or if they've got a real name opponent. It's great to hear they're both eager to collide before they've made it. And fights like this as well, they tend to be pretty exciting because they're raw, they're not fully developed yet, they're eager to please, and they're both in the way of each other of making those big bucks. If I think of the last real significant all-British heavyweight clash, it would probably be Anthony Joshua's fight against Dylan White, which was entertaining for those, some of those reasons I just named, like, you know, they were emotional, they were a bit ragged, it had that drama to it, it was a bit topsy-turvy, a fight between Joyce and Dubois may go a similar kind of route. Now, as for the clash, I have to favour the much younger Daniel Dubois. He's just 21 to Joyce, who's 33. He's much quicker on the draw, he's got faster hands, and he punches much more correctly. He punches down the pipe, and he just puts, puts his punches together better. Joyce seems very confident about the way he just presses you and keeps throwing shots high volume, but I do not like the gaps in his guard. He comes up, he's, he's very square. I just watched him in his last fight against Stavern, and while he worked them over nicely and got the job done, and he, he did eat a few shots, but and he may have eaten them okay, he may prove to have a good chin in the future, but I don't like the positions he gets himself into. You can't take those liberties at heavyweight where your head's just right there, and he's throwing these shots where they're a bit pushy, he's not really snapping, and again, the head is above the shoulders, he's not really turning away from shots, he's not thinking defence to a kind of a worrying degree. If these guys clash later in the year, I see Dubois sharper punches, you know, marking him up because Joyce doesn't really look like a guy who really makes use of his range. He's kind of touching you with the jab and then he wants to back you up and go to work with both hands and bully you a bit. I don't think that's going to cut it against Dubois, who seems quite well schooled. I was a little bit more <clears throat> thinking Dubois was maybe looking a bit more plodding, but after his last fight, where he started more assertively, that left jab is starting to look better. He's throwing a nice left hook to the body as well. I think he's going to pick the holes in Joyce and take out uh, David Hayes' latest hope there. So what do you think? If those guys fight later this year, I know Dubois has got a fight in April. But if they fight later, who do you think wins out of these British heavyweights?